Hi guys, it's Asunta. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lantern sleeve and I'm also going to be stitching it. Someone asked in the comments of some previous videos how to make or what's the difference between a lantern sleeve and a bishop sleeve. They're kind of the same but not exactly. The lantern sleeve has a lower piece that's open that joins this other sleeve that's also open but I'm going to show you. So you start by tracing the block of the sleeve, the sleeve block in short. I have a video on how to make a sleeve block. If you don't know how to, you can check that video out. So let's start. In order to divide into six sections, I measure from here to here. I get 13.1 inches there. I divide that by six to get the measurement. So for me, I got 2.1. And I just uh, marked here and here so that I'm able to join. Now we have the six sections. You want to decide where do you want your lantern sleeve to start or at which point do you want to cut. You can decide somewhere here, 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 wherever, however you want it to look like. For me, I'll choose here, which is five inches from this point. And then I join, I'd already measured earlier, five inches, five inches, five inches. Now you want to separate this piece from this and also just the sleeve in general. Now what you're going to do is slash this line from here to here but not all the way like that <clears throat> and also let's mark which is the top which is the bottom this is the bottom top so that we don't confuse yeah and then we are going to slash from here all the way down to here but don't separate completely for all of them then we are going to open them up however much you want it flared so for me i'll do maybe let me see one and a half inches or one inch, I'll see, let me first cut it all out. So once you separate them, you want to open them up like this, like this. Two inches, I'll open two inches. So as you're opening, What you want to do is, you want to draw a straight line here, like this. Then take the center line of this and place it there so that everything is even, like that. So one inch there, one inch there, and then two inches, two inches, till you open the whole thing. And join these parts so that it's one whole piece. You can also trace it out on another piece of paper so you don't have all these pieces. So remember this is the bottom so it's where your wrist is or your cuff. So I want to put a paper down here. Cause I don't have that much paper. I have dim by so what I'll do I'll use masking tape. Let me first secure this part so it doesn't move. This is the middle point. So I'll just open just like this one. Two inches, two inches, two inches. Now 
Okay, so that's the pattern. What you're going, we are going to cut it out and then join this to this. So remember to cut along the grain line and I'm using this cutting fabric that was left over because my brother had long curtains and he needed me to um, make them shorter. Okay, let's cut. I'll cut while adding half an inch of seam allowance. I'm adding the notch to show which side is the front. So the side of the front has a notch and this is the back without the notch. So I'm first going to stitch this part at the sides like this, half an inch, the seam allowance I added. And then this part, half an inch as well. Then you're going to join them. So let's go to stitching. Even out this part, since it's not even. To even out this as well. We'll start with this and this. That is it. Now the only thing left is finishing and everything, but this is just a demonstration to show you how it looks. ends up looking like, you see, let me turn it. Remember this sleeve was not altered prior, it was just the simple block. It wasn't taken in to look uh, like it's more fitting or anything. So that's how it looks like, but let me snip these areas so that it can look more, I don't know, maybe it will look better. Let me see if I can like put it on my arm. If you watch till the end, thank you so much. It really does help more than you know. And I'll see you next time.